All right, thank you for tuning in to another episode. Rocking with you here on a Saturday. One more day to the first of the month, so let's go ahead and get it. Um, not too many things going on in sports today. Um, training camps, as usual, there's a training camp tour. Um, I don't know about you. I'm not really that uh, move our print training camps as I used to be. But uh, I saw this, and this caught my eye. Uh, the Jake Paul fight was canceled and it caught my eye because it seems like, you know, this was a nice gimmick, but it seems like it's run its course. There was a lot of talk, like maybe this could upset the boxing world in general. I'm not really a boxing guy. My man, Marty, shout out to him is a great boxing guy. He knows a lot about the sport. Uh, if there are bigger fights that are on, I'm going to have him on. I uh, started to try to have more people on and, you know, throw ideas back and forth off people. Uh, check out my... Niners and the Lions. We dropped those two today. I'm going to try to drop at least two of the football previews every day, get those out the way. I'm going to do a Hate It or Love It uh, series on the NBA, on just NBA teams offseason. So look out for that. I'm going to drop that um, starting next week. Um, I'm going to drop some Game of Thrones content tomorrow, so look out for that as well. Um, and I think I got something else I wanted to drop. I think something on the Knicks. Uh, Nick's my old Nick's video is still doing well, and uh, I might as well go ahead and give the people what they want and update it. But uh, just back to this, yeah, uh, you know, I thought this would be something you know, maybe change the sport of boxing, but the last couple of fights have been canceled, they have to have, find replacements. Uh, this one's off because you know, the fight was supposed to be at 200 pounds, and he's 215 pounds. Um, I mean. You know, part of, you know, making it like a spectacle and not the actual sport of boxing, just in my personal opinion, is that you have to like do away with a lot of the old nuances. And let me make sure I'm sharing the right screen. Okay, yeah. Um, you have to do away with a lot of the old nuances and, you know, hierarchies uh and and you know stipulations and all that red tape that boxing had so like you know there's a reason that they have weight classes uh so i get that but at the same time bro you're not floyd mayweather just fight the damn fight you know um like this is the second canceled fight you know so i just don't really understand um you know they should cancel the tommy fury one and they cancel this one i just I mean, you're starting to run out of uh, chances. And I don't know, there's always supposed to be this new thing that takes over sports and it never really materializes. So uh, there's a reason why boxing is hard because people are greedy, people are not disciplined, uh, you know, so we'll see. Um, in the NFL, let's go ahead and look at, I think NFL Network and ESPN and ABC, they all had a simulcast of going around training camps in the NFL. Uh, Peter King is still going around training camps in the NFL. I don't know if that's that big of a thing anymore because, you know, before, and, and this is a deeper question that I just have about sports in general, you know, a lot of guys, like, for example, Bill Simmons has this thing called the book of basketball, right? And he talks just about historically basketball. This guy was good. I rate this guy. I rate that guy, right? NBA League Pass didn't come out till 97, right? I believe it was 19, 90, 1997. That's when NBA League Pass. And I doubt Bill Simmons had it. I say that to say this. We look at all these people, historical rankings and blah, blah, blah. You probably watch Jordan maybe 10 times a season, right? All you guys that say that, oh, I love Jordan. Jordan's the best by far. You probably watched him 10 times at most a season when he played, right? So if someone watched somebody 10 times in the NBA season nowadays, would you take their opinion seriously? You wouldn't, right? Because you, we, we do understand that there's nuances in the game. So that you have to you have to watch more than one time. You can catch a guy on a good night. You can catch a guy on a bad night, right? People were voting for MVPs back in the day, watching a guy play maybe two or three times in a year. Remember, because there was only that was the only time you could watch him, 
There was no league pass. ESPN wasn't showing the games like that, right? So, you know, I, I say that to say this about Peter King. You know, back in the day, you know, him going to these things and having a centralized place instead of having to read, open your, your, your newspaper and read about your team. But now every team has like 10 beat writers. You got guys at the athletic covering them, beat writers. You got, um, you know, guys, shout out to my guy, Ovi, who are just informal, you know, independent guys doing it their own way, covering their team. So, like, what's the need of guys like that anymore? Is there any is there any purpose that they're serving? So, like, I used to re read the tip sheet. Remember, um, I forgot who had the tip sheet. Um, I forget. Was it was it Doctor Z? I don't know. Someone they had, there was a, a tip sheet that I used to love reading it. But now, man, I get this, and you can just go to this the website I'm right now. Look at all the stuff that you can get. They, he's an aggregator. He's getting this from every website um, beat writer. He's just putting it all together. So, what's the need of Peter King going to every camp? And again, we got to attack these guys' historical knowledge because, like, hey, I've been watching the game for thirty years, but you watch these guys play six times in a year. Listen to your damn opinion. Why is your opinion better than mine? Because you watch them play six times. I can go on YouTube and do the same that you did. So, uh, Lamar Jackson, we talked enough about him. Uh, Frank Clark said he didn't play up to the best of his ability. You know, the, the, the thing that I find interesting with the Chiefs and their offseason, and I'm going to talk about this more in their three questions in the offseason preview, is that it seems like I thought when they lost Tyree Kill that they were going to go right back in and go big game hunting, find a, a, a receiver, trade for a receiver. But they drafted a couple guys. Um, Sky Moore looks really good in camp. Juju smith Schuster looks really good in camp. And I think that what they looked at is like, you know what, let's make a more complete team. What, let's have a more complete secondary. Let's have a more complete pass rush. They use their first round pick on a pass rusher. Frank Clark is saying he needs to have a better year. Uh, I believe they just signed Carlos Dump lap. So I'm thinking that they're looking at it like, hey, we're way too top heavy. Let's have a team that if we need to get some defensive stops, let's get some defensive stops. So I, again, I'm really interested to see how they look as a whole holistically. And I'm also interested to see what that offense looks like. Is this going to be a season where Patrick Mahomes, because he doesn't have those blinders and where's Reek, where's Reek, Reek, the Reek get by the defense? that he actually reads the field a little bit more once that, you know, blanket is taken away from you. And it's a little bit different than, you know, what I compared it to, to Watson because Hopkins is a, you know, contested ball catcher. So even if he's kind of covered, you want to still force it his way while Tyreek is a more either he's open or he's not type player, even though he can make best of catches. But now that you have that guy, the thing, do you kind of ease it up more and say, Hey, listen, I got MVS. I got, uh, McCole Hardman, I got Juju, I got Sky Moore, I got Kelsey, uh, I got Josh Gordon, we got uh, uh, CHE in the backfield. You know, am I just going to spread out the weapons and, you know, do things that way? So, yeah, he said he didn't play up to the best of his capabilities. I know he came on strong towards the end of the year. He didn't start off the season well, but he came on strong. Last year, I don't know if you remember, they tried to play um, Jones at D tackle, at DN, excuse me, and then they moved him back in. So, you know, they drafted the DN. Hopefully, you know, they don't do that dumb shit again. And then, you know, they focus on focusing on, you know, allowing him to play his actual position. Uh, a lot of players got hurt today. I see this Isaac Weston um, got carted off. Mo Hurst um, got hurt today. I mean, that's just football, I guess, you know. You just lose guys. Uh, Jensen, it looks like he's going to be out for the season. It's a game of attrition. So, you know, the best team um, is the best team – uh, you know, on paper, but it's also the best team physically at the end. I think we might be talking about Tampa Bay back to back if they didn't have all those injuries at the end of last season. We might be talking about uh, the Chiefs back to back if they didn't have the injuries to the whole offensive line when they played Tampa Bay in the playoff in the Super Bowl. So it is a game of attrition. You know, football, basketball is becoming this way too. You know, do the Warriors win it this year if uh, Middleton is healthy? Um, so you know. It, it, it's really, or do do the Bucks win it if the Lakers were healthy and, uh, you know, AD and LeBron don't get hurt the season before. So, you know, injuries have just um, cropped up. And I don't know, I don't know, it just didn't seem like it was, 
you know, I, I, I didn't really start watching football until I came back from Nigeria. It was Moss that, you know, you know, initiated me into football, uh, the greatest wide receiver of all time. Um, but uh, so I don't know about like historically with football, but it didn't seem like back in the day, like injuries just debilitated teams the way that they are now. It's just like NBA is just like, man, guys are just major. Like I remember one year when the Lakers, I think it was the second year of the Lakers three P uh, the second one. Was it the second one where they, uh, no, it was the third one where they went, no, it was a, it was the second one when they played the Sixers and they went fourteen and one where they only lost one game, and they played the Spurs and I think the Spurs could have gave them a good series, but Derek Anderson hurt his shoulder, and I remember that was one of the ones where like man, I, I wish I could have seen what would happen if, but I don't remember the injuries like basketball and football where it's just like man, it's just guys are going down and it's changing everything, so I don't know, we'll see. We'll be back when he's ready. What is this? Joe Burrow, where'd he go? Oh, he went to ap appendectomy. Oh, that ain't nothing. Same team. Same. Ezekiel Elliott has to be the focus of the run game. I don't know. He hasn't, like I said, he he took off. He was showing his body this offseason like an Instagram thotty. So, you know, maybe he's back in shape and he's ready to carry the load, but it just hasn't seemed like he has that same juice for a while now. Um, and I guess at the end of the day, man, you got to play whoever's the best player. Like, you know, the money is gone, you know. Sunk costs are something that every, I think everybody struggles with. Like you put something in, like, man, I bought this. I mean, been in this relationship for so long. I bought this thing. I want, even though I don't like it, I'm a ride with it because I bought it. And sometimes that makes sense. And sometimes you just got to say, hey, we got to charge that to the game and move on. I know you gave him this huge contract. I know you think that, uh, you know, he's supposed to be our workhorse, especially because we paid him like such. But if he's not the better player, you got to let a better player play. Um, and this is where the politics come into certain situations. Like, I think, for example, in Philadelphia, you know, there was a lot of talk with their beat writers about like, hey, um, Jalen Hurts, I mean, he might not be the guy, but it looks like the organization and the players want him to be the guy. So it's just like, should the best the best player should play, but it's not always the case. And um, I don't know. We'll see if Zeke is you know back to his old form, but if not, they should move on. So, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there. Uh, check out those videos. Check out the videos to come. Leave a rate, a comment, subscribe, rate. All that good stuff. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. The game is the game. All right. Thank you for watching this clip. Do me a favor. Push the button. Hit subscribe. Come on, man. Push it. Go everybody up. Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. You heard what she said. And do what's right. You heard her. Push the button. The game is the game. So what's up, man? What's up with you otherwise, you know? Uh, the game is the game. Always.